what is the unequivocally fastest way to get 480 item level gear on your alt or higher? 1025 just released and you want to try out your new alt. Or maybe you got tired of your main and decided it's time to pick up that super strong demon hunter havoc? Well, that's great because gearing your alt or even your current character to reach over 480 item level is super easy and super fast. And in this video, we will explore different ways to gear depending on how much time you have and how tough the content that you want to do will be. What is 480 item level? If you're just starting out or you still find all of the gear types, upgrade crests, dungeons and raid rewards and vault items confusing, then let me make it clear to you what it means to have 480 item level gear. The maximum eye level a crafted piece of gear can reach is 486, while as far as content reward goes, only the hero track gear and myth track gear will be able to reach and surpass 480 item level. Since gear types are set on their respective content, it doesn't matter how many thousands of mythic plus 5 dungeons you do or how many normal raid bosses you farm, you will never reach 480 item level without tackling harder content. So if your goal is to go over 480, which is enough to do mythic raids or push plus 20 keys, you will need to focus on doing the content that rewards hero and myth gear and make sure to farm aspect crests, which will be necessary to upgrade said gear and also craft those 486 gear pieces. As such, the simple and quickest way to get to 480 is to raid heroic or better or do mythic plus 18 dungeons or better. If your time is limited but you can push content, have friends to boost you or guildies to help you out, you want to do only plus 18 dungeons, period. The reason for this is that these will meet all of the requirements to maximize eye level gain outside you actually raiding mythic. But since Mythic Amir Drasil on a 400 plus high level character is not gonna happen for 99.99999999% of the player base, aiming for plus 18s should be your goal and let me tell you why. Because becoming our Patreon is supporting this content. Segue? I think I've done better. But that doesn't mean that this is, is not true. These types of videos and pretty much everything that we do on the channel is definitely supported by our Patreon page and you can become a part of the team as well. Outside of actually supporting us and making it possible for us to do more varied content on different cool wow topics, you'll also get rewards like character customizable wallpapers with your transmogs and everything. You'll also get early access to videos and bloopers and other goodies that you can check in the link down in the description for our Patreon, which uh, we recommend you check at the very least to see if it is for you and we'll be super grateful. And now let's go back to talking about gearing and we were talking about plus 18s and why you should do them and the main reason is because you'll first of all set your vault to reward you with myth track gear on the reset of course, which is only obtainable through the vault when it comes to dungeons or simply looting mythic raid bosses. The dungeons themselves will reward you with hero track gear, though 18s and higher, also making it the most efficient source of gear overall. Now, since I mentioned upgrading gear, this will likely be the most tedious part of the process no matter what you do. Aspect crests will be necessary to max out your myth gear and your hero gear as well, and the crests start dropping from plus 16s. However, farming plus 16s will reward you with aspect crests, sure, but the loot itself in the dungeons is champion level which will only go as high as 476, while the hero level gear starts dropping at 17s. But if you only do 17s, your end of the week vault will not have the myth track gear since that only gets unlocked for plus 18 dungeons done. Thus, doing 18s will check all of your boxes if you want to be efficient on time. And since you will now have access to all of the catalyst charges needed to convert gear into tier sets, Making hero and myth track gear into tier will be the most efficient way while stocking up on aspect crests. And with those aspect crests, you can start putting out orders for crafted gear, which will require two more things. The first is sparks, which drop from you just doing content, in this case end of dungeon loot. They also drop from the Emerald Dream campaign and other sources, but since we're focused on the easiest and fastest way to gear up, I will be assuming 18s will take up all of your time. The second thing you need is an enchanted dreaming aspect crest, 
which is basically your aspect crest converted into the crafting material that boosts the crafted item to 486 item level and that you can just get from this vendor. Once you have all of the mats, simply put up an order and voila! Make sure the order is not for a head, shoulder, chest, legs or gloves piece since that's where your tier set goes and the crafted gear cannot be catalyzed into tier set pieces. Do all of this and you should be well above 480 item level. Now this may take longer or shorter depending on your means, but this is realistically what you need to do to get to that eye level goal. But how do you get to be able to spam 18s if you don't have friends or guildies or <coughs> gold to get boosted? Well, now we can talk about a more easy and casual way to approach gearing that will get you gradually stronger gear until you feel comfortable doing plus 18 dungeons. If you need a bit more gear to push that content or simply just want to start small and take it step by step with minimal stress and not have to be that player which always aims for that 100 pars, then this is what you do. I will assume you will be starting around item level 400 since getting a character to 70 and starting the Emerald Dream content will probably make it even higher than that. And this will actually be the first thing on the list. Playing the Emerald Dream campaign and getting the reputation with the Dream Wardens leveled up is the way to go. If you prefer to take it slower or you cannot be bothered with hyper fixating on making every hour of the week as efficient as possible, starting here will be your best bet. Completing the quest line, which is fairly short, will get you a full set of explorer level gear, which can go all the way up to 437 item level and even reward you with veteran and champion reputation gear that scales from 441 eye level upwards. Veteran and better gear can also be catalyzed into tier sets, by the way. While you are here, don't forget to do the world boss R store as well. This is a super quick kill and you may get a piece of champion gear which can be upgraded to 476 item level. Alternatively, or to augment this method, you can also buy green gear from the auction house, which is usually explorer level and quite cheap, or pay a gazillion more gold if you have it, and get BOEs from the raid that will be veteran or higher. The next thing you want to make sure you do is the weekly event. That means the time walking event or the four dungeons cleared event which gives okayish gear itself but at the end you can either get a champion level reward like in the time walking situations or hero level reward as well which is what I was lucky to get by just doing normal mythic dungeons one or two weeks ago depending on when you watch this video. These are also super easy to do and give 437 eye level gear themselves which goes all the way up to 450 when upgraded. No matter which event it is, doing it will give you a nice piece of loot with the chance of replacing a bunch of your greens item already. After you do any and all of the above, you should have enough gear to queue up for the LFR raid. This is the fastest way to get tier set pieces outside using the catalyst on already veteran gear or better. But that's assuming you have the necessary veteran gear which unironically also drops in LFR. Since your goal is to reach 480 item level, it might not be the best idea to use your catalyst charges on low level gear right at the start since those will lock you into lower item level pieces to wear. On top of that, there are a couple of really powerful trinkets and rings that drop in the raid which can make it easier for you to hop into those plus 18s faster. Getting four set easy with catalyst charges to spare will also accomplish the same thing. I mentioned crafting gear before that can reach 486 item level, but if you don't have the aspect crests yet, you can still use the sparks you would have looted by now to craft 463 item level gear which can easily be recrafted into higher item level gear gradually when you get crests to use for the power boost with minimal minimal costs. At this point you can start doing mythic plus dungeons at your leisure. If you can do 18s, just focus on the level you are comfortable at and do as many as you can. They will at least reward you with better and better crests that can be used to increase the eye level of your existing gear, which will make it easier and easier to get into those 18s eventually. At any point you feel comfortable, hop into the normal raid, which I believe can easily be done with 440 item level gear or even tackle heroic with 450 eye level. You might have to make your own raids if you won't get invited, but if you have the gear I mentioned, you have the character part to clear it provided you know the mechanics and your class to a respectable degree. 
this is basically it. At this point, you keep doing this content, gradually going into higher dungeons and higher raid bosses until you can comfortably hop into those 18s I kept talking about. But hey, I won't leave you stranding, so here are a few tips to help you along the way. During this time, you'll likely run out of flight stones to upgrade your gear faster than you run out of crests. You can either just spam more dungeons or raids, but a better way to get fly stones that I have found is to simply do seeds in the Emerald Dream, rares and treasures. They can give you a few dozen fly stones per loot and that's usually about as much or more than you would get from a dungeon and it takes significantly less time. When it comes to the crests, if you want specific ones, then you will want to start with plus 11s to 15s for worm crests if needed. 16s or higher for aspect crests and if 18s are too much, at least try to farm 17s for the hero track gear. If upgrade resources are scarce, remember that the higher the item level the gear you loot is, the more upgrade steps you get to skip and save up on those crests. On the flip side, Vascarn in the central encampment will trade lower level crests for your higher level crests if you think it's worth trading these down to upgrade your gear quicker. This is particularly helpful if you end up doing content higher than normal and you have aspect crests, but your hero track gear still needs worm crests first before it can be upgraded with the aspect crests themselves. Just small facets of this wonderfully complex and tedious gearing system that we have in 2024. Still, tedious or not, it does make it efficient and fast to get good gear as long as you can remember where everything drops. But hey, that's what this video is for. And not only this, but also we have a video on the 10.2 patch content you may want to explore for cosmetics, mounts, reps, and yes, even more easy to acquire gear right here. So click away.